So, okay. So this fourth quarter, I've tasked you to memorize the monologue of Mark Anthony. So have you memorized it? Me were you short of time? Apo. So, do you any do you know some of the lines? Can you try Apo. reciting some of the lines you've memorized so far? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I've come to bury Caesar, not to prison. The evil that uh, the evil that men do lives often. The good is often interpretable. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus has told you he, that he was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And grievously has Caesar answered it. And grievously has Caesar answered it. Okay, so you've read the monologue, right? So what have you understood from it so far? What what did Mark Anthony wanted to convey? What was his message? Uh, for him, for him, Caesar wasn't ambitious, and that he was a very good friend of him. One time, in in his speech, he said he he had offered. Julius Caesar three times a crown and three times he refused it so he was he tells the people that Brutus was wrong and that he and that he was ambitious or so Diva you've memorized the monologue of Brutus what comparisons or what can you what analysis can you derive from both speeches what conclusion can you can you i mean for you for a reader for someone who listens to both to both uh, monologues what do you think is your opinion what can you derive from the life of julius caesar what, by re, by reading by listening two opposing narratives because Brutus was telling one thing and then Mark Anthony was telling another thing so you as a listener should have an opinion because it's completely opposing narratives so what do you take from it what do you glean from it That Julius Caesar hides his true intentions, mm. and that, and that he fixes his personality with his friends, mm. right. so so that he, so that people doesn't get a bad picture of him, like mm. for example, in Laundry Fall. because Brutus said that he was ambitious and. Brutus said he was ambitious while Mark Anthony said that Mark Anthony was a dear friend of his that and that he yeah that he he never noticed him to be ambitious so far therefore. So um, So where do you where would you there bo there so it does it mean that there are two different truths? depending on who the speaker is how about your opinion what do you think of it what is your conclusion how about when you're a student of history and there are two opposing narratives how will you search for truth search for the truth because there are two opposing narratives for Julius Caesar 
does it mean that you're going to listen only to Brutus or you will only listen to Mark Anthony? Uh, neither is true or false. To find out what his true personality was, uh, I need I need to read more and I need to delve deeper to, in in history. Mm. So what his actions were, what his intentions were, how how he ran the Rome. Mm, okay. So it's not enough. See, so just listening to both sides, it's not enough, correct? Not well. Why do you think that? Because neither is black or white in history. Uh, what am I 